Today we are going to see about the render tags and then how to use them. So first of all, render tags are used. If you don't know what render parses are, I've already made a video related to it. I'll just put the link in the description below where you can watch it. Your, this scene is basically a simple setup to show default render pipeline. So what this does is that you get, we are getting all the elements from the device and then we are just sending it to the scene render pass and then we are using the camera texture as a background and then we are rendering everything. So now what if I want to only display only one element. So this plane actually has a material and this is the standard material. So standard material uses the lighting and stuff. So if I want to get this, I'll just drag this over here and connect the scene object here. You can just see this turns completely black. This is because we are not rendering the light. So if you are rendering the device entire thing, the light is also taken into the consideration. Whereas only when we are rendering the plane alone, like only this particular plane, it doesn't have any light sources in there. So what happens is that you will eventually have to create a null object and then place this object inside and place the lighting inside and then fetch that object and you can test it. Now you can just see the lighting works perfectly. But think if you want to fetch a multiple number of objects, for example, uh, you want to get this like this is one set. You want to add the shape for this thing. Where the one more plane, this plane. I'll just change this material to some other to distinguish between them. So what if I want to show this plane? So I have to create the light sources multiple times underline and then we have a restriction towards how many light sources we can have. So mainly towards the direction light and ambient light, we can't go more than five. So in that case, what will we do? So that's where the new tag system comes in. So I'll just revert back to the simplest option where we have two objects that is like your plane one and plane two. And I'll just change the material again to something red over here. So now we have two planes. I'll just enter the directly the device over here. And now we only want to fetch the red one. So what I can do is I can just click them and every scene object has something called a new tag in the inspector panel called tag. So what this does is you can enter any name in it. For example, I could just call this red. Now red has been entered. So this particular 3D plane has a tag attached to it called red. And then I can just call this white. So now these both the planes have separate tags in them. And we can have any number of tags in it. For example, these two are planes. So I'll just call them planes. And this is also a plane. I'll just call them plane. So now we can add any number of objects to it. So what if I want to fetch only the red so i'll just remove this device and then over here i'll just type the tag name i'll just type red and enter if you just see once i enter the tag name alone that tag, like whatever objects or 3d objects associated with that particular tag has been fetched that is only uh, to keep in mind that only this particular object is being fetched, not the children. I'll just add one more plane to just show. We are only fetching the red object. We are not fetching its child. So I'll come up to the part where we will be fetching that too. But in this case, we are only fetching the red color. So now red is being fetched. What if I want to display only white? I'll just type white. Why? Because we already entered the tag called white in it. So what if I want to display both the things? I could just type white and I'll just leave a space between them and then type one more tag. So we can tag, like we can add any number of tags between them. That is like if you have five tags or six tags, we could just add all of them with the space between each and then they will be fetched directly for us. In this case, you can just see, we are not able to see this particular plane. That is like the child of the red. This is because the what tags does is like if you enter a tag directly what it does is that it just gets whatever tags is like for example if this body or uh, this plane has a tag called red 
and then whatever tag as like whatever model as that tag will be fetched it doesn't see what's its child or something like that so what if you want to access its child or you want to access its uh, whatever is underneath so for that i'll just clean up the white and make it only red so for that what you can do is there is a uh, one more command that is next to the tag you are just type dot enter sub tree and enter so now what happens is that whatever objects you are adding as a child to that tag like for example whatever tags as the name red like whatever object as the name red and then its child will be rendered out separately so this is a easy use case of what we can do with the render tags the one more main uh, easiest way to use render tags is that i just remove everything so now you can just see i have a plane tracking in my scene if i just enter it so now you can just see we have a plane tracking on our scene we can't see it i just switch to back camera so you can just see we have a plane tracking but we can't see anything i will just connect the default setup pipeline so here you can just see you can't see the 3d object which is under the plane tracking this is because we are only only rendering that device that is like object which is under the device so basically what we are doing is we are only rendering the element which is child of the device whereas the plane tag is not the child of the device so what we usually do is that we have to create a separate uh, scene object scene render pass and then create this setup to basically display the play, whatever object is under the plane tracking I'll just set up this quickly. Now you can just see clearly is that we are able to see. I'll just restart it again. Yeah. Now we can just clearly see that the object under the plane tracking is visible, but it doesn't have the light because we are the light is under the device. So we have to duplicate the lighting and everything to in order to use it under the plane tracking. now you'll be able to see this is working but what if there is an another simplest way to achieve this so for that we'll be using render tags so i'll just delete the dyed sources and we'll just delete everything we are and then we will be needing only the scene render pass so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to the device and here i'll be entering a tag called main so you can enter any name you want I'll just see, enter the same name over here. Make sure you enter the same name on both the tags. And then, if I enter main on both the devices, you can see there is nothing is happening because you are only fetching the parent. You are not fetching its children. So, in order to fetch the children, what we will be using is called the sub tree. Now, you can just cl see clearly that we'll be able to see the both the elements under this. you can just see clearly that we can see the plane tracking object as well as the whatever is on the device so this is the easiest way where we'll just enter a tag like for example this main is a tag which we entered on the device as well as the plane tracking and now we can easily fetch those elements without any hassle well or without making things complicated so this is one of the use cases of render tags so the one more some one more use case of render tags is that I'll delete the plane tracking because you don't need that. This is a front camera. We have multiple objects on the scene, and I want to display only certain objects. That is, like the objects with the tag show should should be only visible. So for that, what we could just do is like we can just go pick an object and enter the tag show, and that will show up because we are only rendering the tags with that like elements with the, that tag. So if I just go pick any object and then enter that tag you can just show, see that is being shown this is because you are only showing the elements with the tag tag called show so this can the naming convention can be your term like it can be called whatever you want so like this you can only fetch the elements what you want so that is uh, i'll just create one more duplicate to show why we'll be using it so i'll just call this add maybe yeah so i'll just enter this tags on one more element multiple elements and now if i want to add these two i could just add them now you can just see i'll just remove the scene object in one case so now you can clearly see that your 
on the main render the render is totally different whereas over here it's basically you can just see the two elements are being rendered added to each other that is the elements with the tag called show is being added to the elements which the tag called add now what's happening is that we are adding the white that is like the tags with the tag called show to the main subtree you can see the clearly the difference between the colors being added to make it show prominent what i'll do is i'll just create import a blur blur from the asset library i'll just enter this to the blur i'll just send it over here increase the blur so now you can just see there is a kind of glowing to this part because we are adding a glow adding a kind of a glow to it so what i could just do is if i just send it over here you can just see you're only seeing the white and the red since we are adding the white and the red on top of another white and the red you can just see there is a little bit of glow happening over here so if i just multiply black color or something to over here with a black color to make it like little bit of darker to show what's happening so we are adding the shader render pass because we can't send the shader signal to the background we need to send it as an image or like texture that's why we are adding it so now you can just clearly see that without the adding the elements are like pretty much same tone as others but when we are adding it you can just see we are only adding the white and then the red part and we are adding a glow to it so this gives us the glowing part to it so this is how you can use render tags for example i could just add this tag to any of the elements that is if i just add show here you can just see it automatically blooms up whereas like if i just remove this you can just see this has been removed like this you can add to any number of objects we are like for example if you have a uh, hundred objects in your scene and you want to display only like uh, you have to add some processing only to certain elements of the scene you could just achieve this with these tags so this is the main use case of render tags so if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section or you can ask in my instagram if you want me to make any more explanation videos about some other topics related to social AI, you can just ask in the comment below. I'll try to make a video towards it.